Okay, let's take a look at zooming and navigating around, getting around inside your CorelDRAW artwork. I still have the sample2.cdr artwork open, by the way. I hope you do too, or hopefully you have some kind of a file open, because obviously we want to zoom in on the artwork and get around inside the artwork. Now, before I start talking about different techniques for zooming and different techniques for navigating, what I want to do is the dockers that we have over on the right-hand side we just finished talking about the dockers what I want to do is I want to give myself a little bit more screen space a little bit more elbow room to work inside Corel draw so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this icon right here sort of the double arrow there collapse docker go ahead and click on that guy and that collapses your dockers over on the right hand side and of course you still have your tabs there so you can still access them but that gives us lots more room to work here inside Corel draw now, how do we go about zooming and getting around inside your artwork? Well, there's lots of different ways, and I'll be sure to give you lots of different techniques here, and I'll definitely give you some keyboard shortcuts here as well to help you speed up while you're working inside CorelDRAW. So the first way that I'm going to show you how to zoom in here is to head up to your toolbar way up at the top of the interface, the standard toolbar, and you'll have a zoom drop-down menu. And inside the zoom drop-down menu, we have all kinds of different zoom percentages, so 25% 75%, 200%, and so on. The higher the number, the closer you're going to get to your artwork. The tighter the zoom is going to be, if you will. So higher numbers are going to zoom you in. Lower numbers are going to zoom you out. Something like this, right? Now you also have some options in here. We have two fit, two page, two width, and two height. So for example, if I go two width, that'll fit the width of the artwork into my interface. Or what I could do is I could say two page, and that would set the page dimensions that I've established for my document into the Corel Draw interface, if that makes sense. So that's one way to go about zooming. Now, I have to admit, though, I don't normally zoom using this drop down menu. I don't know. I find it maybe a little bit too slow. What I usually do instead is I use Corel Draw's zoom tool or the magnifying glass tool. And you can find him inside your toolbox. Now, he's hidden underneath the hand tool myself. So I'm going to have to click and hold for just a second until I get the tool fly out. And then I'll grab the zoom tool there or of course you could just hit the Z key on your keyboard now what I like about this guy is there's a couple of different ways to zoom with this fella give this a try what I'll do first is I'll just single click with this tool and of course that zooms me in on the area that I've clicked on say for example I click on the back headlight of this cartoon car here well that's gonna zoom me in on that area right something like this okay great now the other thing that I have as well that I should mention just while I think of it is as soon as I select the zoom tool check out your properties bar across the top this properties bar I don't think I mentioned this earlier and I really should have the properties bar is dynamic so depending on the tool that you select out of the toolbox you're gonna get options related to that tool so here I have zoom options and I can tell that I'm zoomed all the way in at six thousand four hundred percent on my artwork right well I think what I'll do is I'll drop down this zoom menu and I'll go to page and of course that zooms me all the way back out right now I'm throwing a bunch of different things at you here but don't forget one way to work is just by single clicking with your tool no big deal right I'm gonna zoom back out here just by heading to the properties bar and choosing to page now here's another way to zoom in let's say I want to zoom in on that same rear tail light there what I could do is I could just click and drag so in other words I click and drag a rectangle as soon as I let go of my mouse Corel draw zooms me right in on that area of the artwork awesome stuff so whichever way you want to work is just fine and of course you have some other options here up on the properties bar we have the zoom in we have zoom out we've got a couple of other options here zoom to all objects and there's our zoom to page width and page height which is really the same as choosing the width or height out of the drop down menu so really however you want to work is just fine Okay, great. Now, there's lots of other things that I want to show you here in terms of zooming and navigating. And what we'll do is we'll continue this discussion in the next exercise.